name is Craig Carlin. I'm originally from uh, Oakley, Kansas. I attended Fort Hayes State from 1984 through 1988 as an undergraduate. I came back later on and got my graduate degree um, and started working at Fort Hayes in 1989. So I'm coming up on my 30 years that I've, I've been here in one capacity or another. I just loved being an undergraduate. I was really involved in the fraternity. I was president of the fraternity way back then, held offices and did a lot of, uh, I got involved in a lot of stuff, probably over-involved in a lot of stuff. And when I finished my undergraduate degree, I started working in the uh, admissions office as a recruiter, you know, admissions counselor. And I did that for about four years. And then, um, then I got into financial aid, and I was assistant director for financial aid for a while. And then when Carl Metzger, the director, retired, I started out as the director in 96 and went all the way through to 2015 there. And I've been registrar now for only a few years. I remember being in Gross Memorial Coliseum probably around 76 or so in through there. I might have been 10 years old. I'll never forget this. It was the biggest building I had ever seen. And we went to the Royal Lipizzan Stallions that they had down there, which was, which was very interesting. So I was familiar with it then, but um, one of my in the first ones was 1981 when I came back for my sister's commencement, which of course was in Gross Memorial Coliseum, but my sister, Myra Jo, uh, she was the first one from my family. She kind of blazed the trail for the, the rest of us, and she graduated in 1981. A few years ago, when I became registrar, I figured out that from 1981, and I had a, a sister that was a couple years younger, and I had cousins and my own family all the way through there. But then I started working here after my undergraduate, so I've tended every Fort Hayes commencement since 1981. Who'd have thunk it, right, that I am now kind of running the commencement thing and carrying the mace and all that good stuff. When I was a biology major, I just thought, yeah, I wanted to be a biology major coming out of high school, and that's what I wanted to be. I got into it here and I thought I was a big failure because I was just, I, it just didn't excite me anymore. I took zoology and got a C or something like that. Jeez, uh, and you know, I was, I'm a sophomore year and you know, you're, you're kind of betwixt between, you can hardly see the light at the end, right? And you don't want to go back and you're thinking, oh, am I going to be able to do this? And yikes. My advisor was Gene Flea Harding. So I came in to re-enroll for the, for the next semester and um, sat down with Gene. He goes, you know what? You don't look like you're having a good time. <laughs> and I said, mm hmm. He goes, he goes, do you, do you want to be a biology major? Do you, you know, what are you thinking about doing with this? And I go, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to, I just want to get my degree. Right. I'm not thinking about that right now. And he goes, well, and so we kind of had a, you know, the advisor moment where he just said, well, what, what do you like to do? What, you know, what, what excites you? He's looking down through my ACT scores. Oh, they go, gosh, social sciences, you're off the charts. And you know what, you know, you need to, you know, have you, have you thought about that? He goes, I said, well, I love history, but what am I going to do with that? All I got to do is teach. And he said, well, no, there's a lot of things you could do <laughs> with that. And he goes, do you know Wilda Smith, Dr. Smith? And I said, no. She was chair of the history department then. And he said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you your file. Back then they had your advisor file as a manila envelope, and he handed it to me. And he goes, I'm going to pick up the phone. He did. He picked up the phone. He called Wilda. He goes, Wilda. He goes, I have a student over here that I want you to, I want you to talk to. She sat me down and blew my socks off on, this is what you're going to do in history, you know, and these are the things you can do. And she put me in my um, Middle Eastern Civilization course. At, at that time, what was going on in the Middle East, even more so than now, was huge. We had, you know, the, everything was going on in Beirut and everything was happening at that point in time. But I still have that notebook. I still have the book and learned so much about it. And it was, it was, you know, just, I was hooked. I'm in, I'm going to do that. And still to the day, nearly to the day she died, my mother said, what are you going to do with that degree? I said, mom, I use it every day. And she's like, hmm, are you a historian someplace? Well, not really. 
but I, I use it all the time. So Gene Fleahart, he had the wherewithal to say, here's a kid that probably shouldn't be in biology. Let me send him over to Will uh, and see what happens. And Will Smith did that for me, and you know went off and had you know Bob Lugers and all those guys that were in there, and Ann Liston and all those all those folks. It was it was a great time, and finished up on time. Certainly, the technology has changed a great deal. When I was here, uh, we were still pulling cards in in uh, Sheridan Hall in the old snake pit, right? You had your schedule worked out and you go up there to pull, pull the card and oh my gosh, the course is closed. We don't have any more cards left, right? Oh, okay, so you, then you gotta go back and refigure all that. And you know, we do that now with Tiger and Roll and Tiger Tracks and, and all that sort of thing. And I, I wouldn't say we loved it, but it was a good time to check out other people and talk to other people. When you got back, you'd go in there and you'd have to stand in this line and get all your stuff and then you'd go here and you'd pay and everything else like that. As that time progressed in doing that, there was a lot of talking back and forth. What'd you do this summer? All that kind of thing. And all of that really went away, not only at Fort Hayes, but, but, but everywhere. Everything's done now online. And I think the culture really has not changed since I've been here. I mean, when I was here, Jerry Tamanic was president. And, you know, I'd be walking down the sidewalk and Jerry would stop me and say, hey, you look familiar. You, you know, and I do. I look a lot like my brother. And I say, well, yeah, my brother's Mark. And, you know, he just graduated, last, you know. And, oh, is your sister. You're, I know your sisters, you know. And I said, yeah, you know, I had three sisters that attended here, too. So, um, it, and a lot of that has not changed. Um, and thank goodness it hasn't. So FHSU was unexpected. It's an unexpected surprise. I thought it's out there in the western Kansas and oh my goodness. But it, you get here and it gets under your skin a bit. And uh, there's a lot of people that stay here a long time. The most important thing I think about Fort Hayes is its culture, uh, which is definitely a positive place to be. Mm -hmm.